welcome back to another video of different communication video 11 oblique drawing let's draw these three concentric oblique projection so we start first with the center line From the very center, we draw the first face circle, radius 12. From the center of the circle, we draw a line 45 degrees. This will help us find the depth of the other side of the first circle. We draw the 45 degree on the opposite side in order to find the very end of that cylinder side. Due that it is a cabinet, it is important that we measure half the size that it is given. In this case, from 20 millimeters, it will become 10 millimeters. From the new found center, we will draw the next cylinder. Also, from the very same center, we will draw the back side of the first center. The second circle has a radius of 24. We first draw the face of the circle and repeat the same procedure as done before opposite 45 degree angle in order to find the very end of the cylinder. From the center of the circle we extend the center line at 45 degrees in order to find the center of the back side of that same cylinder. Once again coincidentally it happens to be the same center of the face of the third circle and thus we repeat the same method. The third circle has a radius of 36. Note once again that the 45 degree line is being used here to find the extended line of the cylinder, the very edge of the cylinder. sure that all working lines are faint while all outlines are bold. Draw a cylinder which is upright. We first start by drawing the plan of the cylinder as if in orthographic projection. So, of course, we start with the center line. In this case, the radius of the cylinder is that of 40 millimeters. The circle is then enclosed within a, a square. The square will help us draw the circle in oblique projection. A 
it is good to annotate each point for easier use later on. Now, the center of the circle must be divided into a number of parts. This is done with the method we like to call division of a line. In this case, the center is going to be divided into nine parts. Join the last two points together and slide parallel lines in order to find the remaining points. Thus having line of the circle divided equally in nine parts. One can choose to divide the line in the number to his desire. Take the divided lines vertically up until they hit the diameter, the circumference of the circle. Now we start drawing the oblique drawing. We start by drawing the square in oblique ABCD. The front, the front measurement remains the same. Was the depth of the oblique due that it is cabinet it is divided in half therefore half the rate Now that we have a square in oblique, we can continue by filling in the remaining information, starting with the divided parts. It is important to annotate again in order to be able to match the given information. All divided points at an angle of 45 due that this is an oblique projection. Next, we need to measure the red center line onto our oblique joint. We do this by bisecting a line using the bisection method. Thus, finding half the measurement of our radius. Now that we have found the first four points of our circle and oblique, we must do the same with the remaining divisions. We must bisect each and every division that we have on our drawing. Given that the circle is symmetrical, we may use this to our advantage in order not to have too many working in a single space.
measure each bisected line and mark on the oblique projection according to the number Now that we have found all the points at the base of this cylinder, we need to project upwards 70 millimeters up. Instead of measuring each point individually, it is wise that first we project line upwards and then using a compass with the width of 70 millimeters and mark all points accordingly. Now that we have found all of our points, we need to do by freehand all the necessary outlines. It is important to turn in favor of the center in order to avoid mistakes such as this one. Thank you for watching.